bake with Nat. After eight, freak cookie. Hi everybody, last time you saw me invent not only the Ferro Rocher cookie, but the freak cookie. What's a freak cookie I hear you ask? Well, it's an over the top, half cookie, half cake hybrid. Chock full of dreamy, creamy filling and then decorated with gluttonous indulgence and decadence. So what's my next freak cookie I hear you ask? It's after dinner, it's after eight, what could you possibly want to eat? A giant after eight freak cookie. Wanna try it? Let's do it. Preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Line a baking sheet with baking parchment. Oil some water. Sieve 25 grams of cocoa into a big bowl. Add five tablespoons of boiled water, be careful. Blend to a paste. Add 100 grams of salted butter and 75 grams of caster sugar and 50 grams of dark brown sugar. Give it a good mix. Next add one large beaten egg and mix it in. Sieve in 175 grams of self-raising flour and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix. Add 100 grams of dark chocolate chips, then spoon out 12 balls, approximately one tablespoon in size. Fridge for 10 minutes. In a new bowl, add half a can of sweetened condensed milk, which is about 200 grams, and add 300 grams of icing sugar. Pour in six capfuls of peppermint essence. Stir until thick but runny. Remove the balls from the fridge and separate them so you have six on a plate and six on the baking tray. Make the ones on the baking tray flat round patties. Use the back of a spoon to imprint a small well into the middle of the cookies. Add a dollop of the peppermint fondant to the centre of the cookies. Take the six balls that you put on the plate and make them into flat round patties. Then put one top onto one bottom, squishing round the sides to make sure everything's sealed within. Chill for 10 minutes in the fridge. Then bake for 8 to 10 minutes. When they're completely cool, transfer to a wire rack. But while they're cooling, let's get on with the topping. From the leftover peppermint fondant, scoop out about two tablespoons and put it aside. We'll use that to drizzle over the cookies at the end. With the rest of it, we're gonna make the peppermint creams which are gonna go on top of the freak cookies. So you're gonna need about 75 grams of icing sugar to go in now. The consistency should become like Play-Doh, so if you feel it's too wet, add a bit more icing sugar. If you feel it's too dry, add a little bit more essence. Roll up the mixture to about a centimetre in thickness, then use a small cutter to cut out some shapes, then transfer these to a baking sheet to dry. For the other half, add a few drops of green food colouring and knead it to combine. Then roll it out and cut out some shapes as we did before. Then allow these to dry. Melt 25 grams of dark chocolate on a medium power in the microwave for one minute. Then drizzle it across the creams and leave it to dry. Melt 75 grams of dark chocolate on a medium power for about 1 minute 20 seconds and then drizzle it in thick lines across the cookies. Take the fondant that you set aside and add a few drops of peppermint essence to loosen it, then drizzle it across the cookies in thick lines. Finish up by decorating the cookies with your lovely peppermint creams. And there you have it, I've invented the After 8 Freak Cookie. Look at that bad boy. Oh, pretty damn good. It's pretty good. Jeez, that is amazing. Oh my god, that is actually insane. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Okay, a word of warning. I feel really hyped up. <laughs> These obviously contain a huge amount of sugar. So I, jump, so I don't recommend eating more than uh, half. I do my sugar. At one time. Definitely don't eat these after eight. You'll be awake all night. Because we should go